one of the ways that people can pretend to be you or spoof your business email addresses through you not correctly setting your DNS settings for your domain name. We're gonna get a little bit technical here, but what I'm gonna do is show you how to run a report and that report you can then send to a technical person, whether that's our team or whether it's someone else to help fix this because we do these all day long, but at a minimum, you wanna make sure you check. So you wanna head along here to mxtoolbox.com and we're gonna run an SPF test. What SPF does is the easiest way to describe it is if you remember the old days when someone wanted to send a letter and they wanted to verify that it came from a person, they would use a wax seal, right? And someone would have a special insignia on their ring and they would wax seal an envelope and you know, okay, the envelope hasn't been opened and it's come from that person because no one could afford a fancy gold ring to make a fake copy of the ring. Effectively, that's what SPF does. So if you type in your domain name here and you, uh, you do a lookup, it's first gonna do a, an MX lookup. We're gonna use the down triangle here. We're gonna switch to SPF. Oh, there it is, SPF. So we're gonna run an SPF test. Now, it should be green, ideally. The, you know, there shouldn't be any obvious errors or like red checks or anything like that. You wanna make sure that there is some formation, I'm gonna assume it's correct if it does say Google, there's some formation of the Google record there if you're on Google Workspace. There will be an equivalent for Microsoft for this, get your techo person or your web developer to check that, um, or our team can check that if you if you want. But here is effectively the list of services that are allowed to send email on your behalf. If someone wants to pretend to be you, this doesn't completely stop them, but it effectively marks their mail as spam if they're pretending to be you or pretending to be one of their stuff. SPF check is important. If there's any issues there, chat to your tech person. We do have guides on fixing this. My recommendation is if you are not techo and comfortable with editing DNS records, then don't try and do it yourself. But if you really wanna do it yourself, I've got two guides there for you to show you exactly how to do it step by step all the way. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.